that little rib over there is the last one to do on this side. <laughs> we still have more to go in aft, but this is the most forward rib and it's tiny. So we need to get rid of this floor that is on top of it. We're gonna take these doors off to get some space to work on. Obviously it is rotten like the rest and the tubbing is not looking so good. As you can see the bottom of the door is a bit damaged. We have the bottom part over here. So we'll try to sand it and see if that does anything. But we might have to replace this bit. There's not a lot of space for the screwdriver in there. You don't want to get them damaged. <laughs> like if they're not damaged, they know. Uh, maybe, just maybe we might be able to sign that and should clean. Yeah, I'll clean all right. But to be honest, is it is not really an important part. So as long as we can make it look good, even if it's not very just painting a strong. slightly different color. <laughs> <laughs> painting a different color. So, this is just dirt. Let's do it. Yeah, fill it back with a bit of resin. Okay. Ah, it's a, how you call it when a house is open, open plan. Look super space now. That bit of wood's a bit iffy. Yeah, that's my worry. Oh, well, I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried, I mean, not worried, but we might have to change these walls too. Uh, no, just part of it. Yeah, that's, that's what is difficult. Uh, nah, it's not that bad. We've already done it once, basically experts. What we're definitely not touching, at least for now, is from this cut to the front, this last piece of floor, because this bit, we just don't want to have to take it off. The only good bit of blood <laughs> on the boat, <laughs> and that's just like a little, it's not really that important, is it? It's only a little bit. The sub floor, that's how you would call it, right? Yeah. Because if you open this little flap, you can see it's not too bad. Let me put some light in here. Maybe you can see better. There's bad and there's really bad. No, what you say is really bad. No, it's not really bad. It's just yeah. a little bit bad. Yeah, it's just a little bit bad. <laughs> not really bad like the rest of the boat. So we might work on this in the future. But a clean a sand and maybe changing this bit, which is the front bit. Uh, this one. Mm -hmm. But we're gonna leave the bottom part. 
What do you guys think? You know they're gonna say change it, change the law. Like, oh. You think they're gonna say change it? No, I think they're gonna say no. Just leave it. Don't worry about it. If I poke it and it's fine. It's fine. Super solid. We'll just close the flap. Don't forget about it. But look at this. It's the only piece of like, if you look at this corner, it's like that. Looks like the boat is perfect. <laughs> kind of. So yeah, that's stay there. But this, gonna go. What about that wall? Uh, what's down here? This is the only bit. Uh, uh, I think it looks all right. Yeah. The tubbing looks healthy. Yeah. It's just that bottom corner where the water got up to. It's just a bit dirty. We can see. But there is not even tubbing in that corner. Yeah. Stu's gone to grab the multi tool to get rid of this part of the floor and that little rip and that'll be working Oop. in the aft cabin because a decision has been made about these walls we're gonna paint it white <laughs> <laughs> After all the experimenting in different walls, different methods and a lot of thinking, we're gonna paint it white. So I just need to sand it back again, which it won't take that long, it's not that, that much. And then we can paint and forget about it. Many of you hated the idea of the whitewash and the shabby chic. <laughs> And we are not convinced either, so we're just gonna stop wasting time and paint it white. A lot of you also said, why did you paint it? You should just leave the wood. But we want to paint it because we feel it's too dark. So that's the plan. Apologies for the noise, I'll speak up. But I cut it all out and I was gonna sort of give it a wobble to see how good, you know, if I've cut all the way around and apparently yes. It just came off in my hands. Okay, well, there we are. That wasn't too bad. So let's see what we can salvage here. Oh. There we go. Now that I've removed the tiniest rib, I was going to say stringer, but now that I've removed the tiniest rib, and the tabbing and the flooring around it. Marina's currently with her head upside down investigating. You know it's actually not a whole piece of wood. Yeah, it's like 12 mil and then it's got a veneer on it. Yeah, it's 12 mil ply and then it's got this thing yeah. which is coming apart like but we might be able to leave it as it is. It's just this bit here. Oh yeah, no, but that, that we can... is kaput. Yeah, so it's that bit. We'll glue and clamp the other bit. So we've got to replace up to about here. Uh, just that piece of wood. And look at this. This is the thickness. Oh, it's too bright. I don't think you can see. Anyway, it's thick. And you still can see light coming through. And it's... How, how thick is that? Like half an inch yeah probably half inch half inch thickness and you still see some light coming through so a lot of people were scared that you could see the light through and yeah even if it's thick you can see how easy was it to yeah. cut off all these bits yeah just a lot of cutting uh, i seem to <laughs> do more cutting now than uh, bashing so that's good. I'm trying to be a little bit more gentle with how we remove things so you can sort of figure out how to piece them back together. Yeah, it's easier to rebuild if uh, it's not completely destroyed. 
I have maybe another hour and a half's worth of work to clean the old tabbing because we're going to do a triple bulkhead here and uh, or a triple rib because it's quite small just to strengthen up the, the forward part of the boat see if that actually helps one piece of floor will have to go in here finish at the threshold and uh, all the way to the front here will be a joist and then the next piece can go on top here anyway i'm waffling I've got to do work, <laughs> people have stuff to do. So. And me too, I'm sending. So yeah, all these bits of tabbing coming off. out all these wood from under the fridge the original fridge yeah the original fridge which is gonna be that was destroyed the fridge that came with the boat yes the fridge that came with the boat to it <laughs> so it's the first time we can see under here oh what is this yeah oh it's a brush oh, a brush tip on it brush my teeth <laughs> Oh, it's an old brush. Look at that. We still find treasures in this boat. And this is the foam that is insulated in the fridge and it's pretty disgusting. It's probably even not healthy for us being around here. <laughs> so, what do you reckon, Stu? Are you going to destroy the fridge? Uh, yeah, well, I'm going to have a look, try and clear that because yeah, it might be pretty quick going the next uh, next couple of stringers now that we're uh, ribs stringers. Yeah. <laughs> you and the stringers. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, one, two. Yeah, yeah, it could be pretty quick going, and that'll be pretty awesome. So we can get painted, tanks in, yada yada yada. You know the procedure. Let's yeah. get it done. <laughs> I can't believe how daunting it was when we did the first one. It took us ages, we worked, got frustrated. And now, it's like churros. We make them like churros. Yeah, it's alright. I think it's fairly level. Yeah, yeah so we was trying these, I don't know if call it beam, whatever it's called. Joist. Joist. He was trying it on earlier and he was shocked of how accurate we've been doing our work <laughs> because it fits like the last bit of floor on the, in that corner yeah, it right reaches this. right on the um, yeah. like this yeah the right height well, we'll see. don't be so impressed we're professionals <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> anyway i'm still standing so Stu's gonna get on this yeah, I need the <laughs> It still looks a little bit white, especially the grain. But here is just, I don't know, something where like the wood got humid and the shade is different. But I've sanded it all. And this is the last time <laughs> I'm sanding these walls. Ready to paint. I just have these little bits that I can't do with the big machine. But the big parts are done. Right. Yeah, I don't know how easy this fridge is going to be to remove. I don't just want to go and bash it out. It's going to be a bit of that as well, but yeah, it's going to be tricky. That's a lot of insulation. Yeah. 
And first we go. <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't have. No, I want to destroy it. Like that foam, some of it was soaked, especially in the bottom. That's ah, not bad. We've seen worse. <laughs> oh, yeah, we've seen worse, but. And that's the beautiful, stinky inside. Ugh. No mica. Yeah, it's weird because this boat doesn't have a lot of mica, which is this. Most golf stars we've seen have this pretty horrible veneery stuff. Yeah. Like mica. But or this boat weirdly doesn't have that and it's got that wood. Yeah, like a three mil panel over everything. So obviously here they said no mica. It's no needed. But yeah, we think someone refitted this boat somehow because the original was that. And the shape's different. The table and the galley layout is different than the A or the B that you get. Yeah, when you look it. online, you don't find any with a table like this. So someone's doing, been doing some work on this boat, modifying stuff. Yeah, I kind of like the nav table as it is. Like that? Yeah, once we put the chart plotter and the radios in and... Yeah, it's know, nice. The other stuff that should look uh, more like a nav table. And it's got a big red button. Emergency button, <laughs> yeah. For, that one there. Might keep it. We don't know what it was for originally. Could be the party button. Every button's a party button. <laughs> so we've discovered now that obviously we've never been able to see these. And looking at how this boat was originally built makes me think we are maybe worrying too much about how we do things. Because here you can see there is a big gap and just some tubbing. But at the moment how we're building them is we put some foam between the wood and the hole. Then we put some epoxy to do the filleting and then we do the tubbing. So we're either doing too much or maybe the right way and these boats were not built so well. I don't know. So we'll probably do something similar than what we did in the forward head and cut it and then just put a double bulkhead with a scarf a, joint. Yeah, with an overlap as well. And uh, Oh no, I'm stuck. Oh. Right. What's up? I'm stuck somewhere. Yes. Oh. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, we we'll maybe have to uh, get in the engine room and remove those shelves. Uh, why is why that face? It needs because, to be done? Yeah, I know it needs to be done, but uh, we're going to get to that probably not next week, but the week after. I That's wanna, all right. I want to do the forward and put a bit of floor in. Even if we just cut the floor and lay it in, we can tab it, we can lift the floor up, paint under the bilge. It will make life working on the boat massively better. Still wants to put the joist in place, so it's just marking where he needs to cut. Sick and tired of prancing around like a ballerina, <laughs> so it becomes somewhat annoying. So we have a go at cutting this. This 
inside, you already reach. But there's gonna be more resting on the wood. Yeah, obviously to save it. <laughs> obviously. <Yes. laughs> so um, it should be alright. Yeah, and we'll just put some sort of mastic, some sort of I don't really want to hear Sycaflex because it's a bit too much. We'll just use something just to squidge it. Something spongy. Hopefully then it won't squeak. <laughs> a little bit easier being able to uh, <laughs> to work on these <laughs> so there, now you've got a now you can do two steps in between and how far you can go oh that's awesome yeah so the old one as you can see on the tab in here you can see the line it gets up to here to the last rib so we'll have to chop a bit on an angle of this to push it all the way up to here and then I don't know if we'll be tabbing it onto the hole like it was or I don't know you happy? yeah, yeah at least we can see some progress not just constantly destroying yeah Stuart feels sad when he destroys stuff because it, no, I wouldn't say sad, but yeah, but like a bit, a bit down because you see that whatever you destroy, you have to rebuild. Yeah, I suppose it's got to be done. I'd rather work on this side of the boat though and uh, build back stuff. Yeah, lots more epoxy work to do. You know, it's a lot more therapeutic doing that. <laughs> more therapeutic doing epoxy. Yeah. I don't know if you've guys noticed the oh, yeah, belt some... that still is modeling. Yeah, so I don't often wear. Well, I don't want to get my belt covered in fiberglass. Yeah, so. I know, I know. You just think it's funny. So I haven't been using a belt, as you can tell. <laughs> I'm sure you're not the first one that does that. Uh, but anyway. <laughs> done this corner to do and on top of the doors and that will be this wall done I just want to get them all done at once so I can paint them all at once I use the, well, we buy the cheap sanding pads, so I keep going through them. Might run out soon. Oh. So I need to get more. 
also all these varnish because we believe they varnished the trim once it was on. <laughs> we need to get rid of, which is really annoying. Uh, all yeah. around. Look at that beautiful job. <laughs> yeah. It's just lazy. Didn't even use a bit of tape. No, no tape. <laughs> Pastis in one hand, paintbrush in the other. I've got this. <laughs> Uh, it's not like good. we're really careful, but <laughs> look, this is everywhere. Varnish everywhere. Yeah, that's us done for the day. We've got one final job, which is where we're going to put the solar arch. We need to investigate how to mount it on the inside as it were so there is currently a vent which marina is just taking off and from there we can investigate how to mount the inside and hopefully to fit two little lockers port and starboard two little glove boxes as it were to a hide the bolt holes and b somewhere to put my thermos flask if it's big enough so this is the vent I had to talk inside because uh, the Mistral's in for a few days. So, yeah, we're looking at putting two lockers here and then marrying up the back. So, there's a vent. There will be a vent. Try not to bend it, honey. Yeah, that would make sense. There's another speaker back there. That's the roof of the uh, the cool one. Yeah, it's the first time we're looking inside here. Oh, is it? All right, so we can get away with. There's a hundred, and uh, what's up the top? Oh, uh, yeah. See, because it tapers. Uh, How much? Oh, uh, it's a hundred. All right, so what? The opening is two twenty-five by one thirty. Still written <laughs> down the shopping list for the hardware store on a piece of wood. That's all I had, I couldn't find any paper. Uh, I just want to put a couple of tools away. That's all right. What do we got? 40 millimeter buttons, 40 by 68 joist, a dustpan, a brush, because her brush is somehow died, a chisel, and rollers for me to paint. And the top one is the box that we've just measured so we can build the solar arch. As the steward said, that's us done for the day. So I'm having a little snack, some cheese and a beer, but still can't stop working. We were talking this morning about how we're going to set up the shower and the sink and all this and that we want to have running water when we move back, at least in the kitchen. So he's pulled these out of the container and he's having a look to see if we've got all the bits. So these are the tanks coming in. I need a stopper. Th those are our four tanks, right? Yeah, four water tanks. Uh, okay. And then they go into this here pump via this little pump guard, this little strainer into this tank so it which is the accumulator so it doesn't pulsate right yeah pretty much yeah so i've just got to mess about with getting a few fittings and where did you get this where do you think i got on the bone coin the second hand website it runs yeah but it's pretty good condition like, it was the um, how you say it? the shop spoiled one 
Yeah, the one they have having the shop. Well, it's come with this people. board. Look at this board. It's a pretty awesome board. This could even be useful for something. Yeah, the bin. I like that to keep that sticker, but I don't see that happening. Three PSI. What is 30. that? Uh, um, sorry, thirty PSI. Pounds per square inch. Whatever that means. That's the pressure. Mm. I don't know. And this is three and a half gallons per minute. Yeah, US gallon. No, four point eight US gallons per minute. So that's well, all right. Yeah, but here it says three point five. Yeah, that's uh, UK and gallon. Not, uh, Okay. Of course. I didn't know there were two types of gallons. Oh, of course, my friend. Oh, can we keep those little bits? No good for nothing. Just throwing money away. Hi, thanks for tuning in to this week's episode. As you can see, more destruction, but slowly we uh, get rid of all the old to bring in all of the new. New year, new wood. Sounds like fun. Thank you to all of you that have contributed in your own way, be it comments, which go a long way. It's nice to sort of have a bit of back and forth from people watching our show. Plus all the people that have donated with coffee and PayPal and our Patreons. We've got a few new Patreons, so welcome aboard. Uh, yeah, you guys honestly don't know how much you help, how you actually make all of this possible. It really is... Well, it's really overwhelming, you know, that uh, we actually have a little following. So, grateful for that. Next week, hopefully, we can be building. So, it's less of a destruction episode and maybe a little bit more of a, a building episode. That's always more fun. Yeah, building's always more fun. But, uh, destruction can also be fun, you know. Anyway, don't be fooled by the sunnies, because it's frightfully cold, as you can tell by the layers. Yeah, thanks again for watching and enjoy. Have a good week. Ciao.